Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. Uh, let us begin. Level 7, Jabu Jabu's Belly. Oh boy, I've had some trouble with this recording. Because, well, first time I thought my microphone had died. Um, oh, I believe this is the compass or something. Yeah, compass. Uh, but, and I... And this is shortly after my controller dying, so I oh, I just thought, oh, not again. I'm gonna have to go shell out another twenty dollars and and get a new headset. Uh, but but I remembered that I did actually have uh, a headset. Well, I'm, it's my parents' headset, but uh, I swiped it and just use that, uh, but its quality was a little bit lower, and I didn't like it, so I used my speech. <laughs> I'm going to start saying speech from now on, using that. I remember doing that at some point, somewhere in Minish Cap or something, I'm not sure, but I will do that. Um, no, can't do anything here. Oh, yes, now I remember where I need to go. Up here, uh, these yellow areas are areas where you can surface in this place. Um, but, uh, at one de last desperate attempt, I, uh, to revive my microphone, because, like, it would not pick up my voice no matter what I did. It wouldn't pick up anything. It turns out it was on mute. Yeah, it was on mute the entire time. It wasn't broken, it was just on mute. I felt so stupid, but at the same time, so happy because I was able to. Because I could continue with my microphone, give you the same quality I've always given you, whether that be good or bad. Um, anyways. Right, um, sorry, just thinking. <laughs> uh, like, I'm not gonna tell you what I'm thinking, but, uh, because that would kind of be spoilers. It's just kind of, it's just kind of planning how this is gonna go. Ah, oh, dang it. All right. I don't think I'm gonna need the rock feather at all in this. I don't know why. Okay. Uh, these three. Uh, oh hell! I'll let the owl explain it. And then I will explain it after the owl uses this vague thing. These internal flow floods blue and recedes with red. I butchered that. Okay, uh, basically what he's saying is that those blue, well, those buttons with the blue tiles around them, if we press those, the water level will go up, but if we press the, the one with the red tiles around it, the water level will go down. And so now that we did that, the entire bottom floor is completely dry, and we can go down there and do things we couldn't do while we had the mermaid suit. First, I'm going to hop down here, and switch with this pot here. Alright, and uh, now I can do that. I got a ring. There we go. Get that appraised after this dungeon. Alright, oh, and also I figured out why those guys die in one hit. It's because I have the Noble Sword. And since I have the Noble Sword, uh, they get taken out quite easily. Alright, now uh, what you're going to want to do here is actually use the, the switch thing to get over here, but you'll notice that it's too short. So you're not going to do what you want to do, you're going to do what you need to do and you to act, actually use a cane of Samaria. Because you forget that you have the cane. Because that switch thing is there, you think that's what you need to do, but no, that's actually not what you need to do. It's just a decoy. Well, now it's just a decoy, but it'll come into play later. It's extremely clever. I really like that puzzle there. I, I just love how they did that. Like, like it's not just a dummy. It actually has a purpose. But you, it trips you up the first time. You don't think to use your cane. I don't know. That's, that's a really good puzzle right there. Ah, anti-fairies. get fairies from them when we use the boomerang. I, I don't know how that works. I think the boomerang, like... Turning anti fairies to normal fairies, like something about it turning around, I don't know. It's some kind of weird Zelda logic thing. Alright, now that we've got our key, we can go into this room. 
and can't actually reach that with a switch hook, but we'll need to come back to that later. Okay, now we hit that, and there we go. Now we shall be good in the ways of water. The water will be come up to the second level. Um, uh, another reason why I'm kind of peeved at this is... Did I say peeved? Who the hell says peeved? Ever! Oh, that is so dumb. And for some reason... Oh, I can't do anything here. Right, right, I need to go down here. For some reason, uh, my... The audio didn't didn't save when I recorded this the second time. I'm hoping it saves this time. Um, I'll try to make this video relatively short, just in case. Uh, because the last one I went somewhat long. Alright, um, we need to go in here to get a key, or else we'll be stuck later. Alright, take out you, my friend, or possibly foe. Well, most definitely foe. Ah, dang it. I wanted to appear on the box, yes. Yes, on the box! Out of the box, out of the box. Oh, I remember that show. I don't remember anything about that show other than that they were in a in a box fort that was humongous inside and, and makes no logical sense whatsoever. Um. Okay, yeah, we need to go to a place. Yeah, yeah, we need to go this way. And I think they did art, arts and crafts or something. I don't remember. That's all I know from that show. It was on a Disney Channel, I think. I don't know. Uh, speaking of nostalgic shows, I'm missing a few of mine. Uh, but, oh well. Let's playing is kind of important. To me, at least. Alright, so... Uh, now we go down here, and in here, we find... What the? Oh my word, it's a mini-boss! This is a weird place for a mini-boss. Uh, where's the, the teleport going to come up? Okay, this is Angler Fish. What you're going to want to do is use your scent seeds to, to uh, knock the wind out of him and then just attack with your sword. He's pretty easy if you know what you're doing, so I might be in trouble here. <laughs> Haven't gotten to use that one in a while. I don't know why I stopped using it. I thought it made me sound stupid and... Ah! Th there we go. Took him out. Alright, angler fish is down. And now, let's get out of here. The po the teleporter actually appears in the room we were just in. But that doesn't matter now, because in that chest is one of my favorite items in the game. You can't beat the mermaid's tail, but nah, whatever. You got the long switch. Switch places with objects from a distance. Alright, this is the level 2 switch hook, the long switch. And look. Look how fast it goes. Man, that's amazing. It's long, it moves fast, and it's incredibly phallic. <laughs> oh, also, uh, if you come down here, you can actually surface up here. A little shortcut. Ma completely rendering that... Whatchamacallit, that staircase uh, useless. But hey, that's... Uh, if that wasn't there, we would have... We probably would have gotten stuck there. I probably put that there uh, after testers got stuck at that point or something. I'm not sure. Okay, uh, we can just gonna long switch across that, or long hook across that. Is the long no, it's a long hook. Yeah, not long switch. I get confused. Mostly just because it's quicker to take that little route. All right, now that we've got the long hook, we can. I'm going to move the water down. Uh, I'm going to completely dry out Jabu Jabu's insides. You know, I'm wondering, like... Because, shouldn't Jabu Jabu always have water inside of his belly? Because, well, he is underwater. That, that's just weird that this is all... It gets all dried out. I don't know, that seems like it would be unhealthy for him. But perhaps he's... Uh, perhaps it's not a is control. I mean, t I am technically the one hitting the button and forcing out the water. So, I don't know. Uh, perhaps it's a good thing, perhaps it's a bad thing. Hopefully we can just get that essence out of him and move along. Because Jabu Jabu definitely has some unnatural stuff inside of him. Like these monsters. Alright, 
so we can, now that the water is at the lowest level, we can solve a puzzle. I already got that ring. I'm hungry all of a sudden. Hmm. Alright. Um, yes, this puzzle. What we actually have to do here is switch hook that over there. Switch that. Get next to the, the button and move the... Move the... I guess I'll call it a prism. Move the prism on there. And then actually use the cane of Somaria to make a block there. That's the only that's the only way this puzzle can be done. Alright, now I need to get the water back to level two. So I need to get to that switch. Like like. Uh so oh, and now that we've got the long uh the long hook, we can actually move that over there. See see what I mean about it being useful later? Because you think you, you're supposed to do that, but you actually can't do that with the switch hook. But if you have the long hook, then you can. I know, it's really clever on the programmer's part. Or the dungeon designer's part, I suppose, would be a little bit more accurate. So good job, dungeon designer, whoever ye may be. Alright, just wait for the anti-fairy to go by. I, don't know, I just like how fast the long hook is. Just it going so fast. That's just so cool to me. It's like doom wow. Sound effects. Onomatopoeia. <laughs> if you don't know what onomatopoeia is, it is when you make a sound effect and you like spell it out. Like boom, kapow, shamak, hua ha ha ha. Mina, well. Those are examples of onomatopoeia. And that is your English lesson for today. Come back next week and we will talk about adjectives. Exciting stuff, my friends. No, we're not talking about adjectives. Fuck adjectives. <laughs> uh. Oh. Hmm. Alright, so uh, now we hit this third button. And we bring the water up to the third level. And this is a little short, but I'm going to end it off here. So this is me, Thrasho2, sit. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? Screw that. I'm going to keep going. Ha ha ha. Faked you out there. Actually was going to stop it, but nope. Uh, now that it's at the third level, we can actually do a lot more stuff. Um. Oh, right. Uh. want to actually go through here. You can push that block. And go down here, ha ha ha. And this, oh that, that floating platform is actually over there now. Ah. Cursed iron masks. I believe that's what their name is, iron masks. Wow, I might be able to do the entire Jabu Jabu's belly in one video. Wouldn't that be awesome? All right, I believe I can go down here now. Yep. Ooh, and I can actually um go through this part because I have the, uh, the long hook. So that will be awesome. Yeah, once you get, once you get the, the level three, once you get the water to level three and you have the long hook, well, I suppose you need the long hook to get the water to level three, it's pretty much deciding what am I going to do next? Because there's so many things to do, but you need like four keys to finish the dungeon, uh, as well as the boss key. So, that's like five keys, five treasure chests we need to hunt down. I'll take you out, and you too, my friend. Why am I calling these things my friend? They're not my friends, they are my foes. And those are completely opposite things. Alright, go up to this level. And, ah, bah, bah. We can actually do this, uh, now. Alright, that's another key. Um, there's one more on this level. Well, I don't know if it's a key, but it's definitely a box. One more box we can get on this level. Oh man, I'm gonna be so pissed if uh, this, uh, if this uh, audio doesn't come out or something goes wrong. So I'm actually going, I'm actually planning on doing this entire dungeon now. Ow, ow! The dungeon map? Huh, I pretty much explored the entire dungeon already. 
that's kind of useless now, but I suppose that frees up to show us that that's completely cleaned out. Um, this floor is cleaned out as well. Yeah, using the dungeon map to see uh, where we need to go, so I guess I'll try level 3 now. I'm pretty sure I know where I need to go, so I will go there. And we will have fun times, everybody. Alright. Um, no, I'd just go down if I went down. So I will go this way. And, um, is it here? Yeah, yeah, this is where I need to go. Okay, so... Oh, no, this isn't where I need to go. Oh, silly me. Uh, silly Thrasho. Tricks are for kids! Why would you just share? All I want are some fruity cereal. Is that too much to ask? Is that too much to ask? Oh, that poor addicted rabbit. <laughs> uh, silly rabbit, cocaine is for kids! It's not funny, it's not kid stuff. I'm Pee Wee Herman! <laughs> Why is Pee Wee Herman talking about crack cocaine? Why? Why? He's supposed to be silly, and he's talking so seriously. And it's not even the actor, it's actually Pee-wee talking. Ah, this is where I need to go. It was on level 4. Alright, so... Yep, just gotta go across here. And another small key. Now all I need is the boss key, and it's up there, I believe, somewhere. Alright, it's in that room. Yes, yes. Okay, now everything's making sense. Alright. Wow, only 16 minutes, and I'm almost done with this dungeon. <laughs> this is the second to last dungeon. I don't know if that says either bad for the dungeon or good for me, but that's quite insane. Well, I suppose technically I've had a, a ton of practice on this dungeon. So, I guess maybe this is sort of a speed run of the dungeon? I don't know, I'm still dicking around a whole lot. Alright, now that we've got our three keys, we can go in here. Get a gush of seed. That's the second to last box in the entire dungeon. Uh, go through here, unlock that final key door. And here is the last box. And the boss key. Now let's go fight the boss. Whom I forget the name of again. Oh my word. Okay, um, and you go down here. I believe, I believe, I believe in magical, magical stuff. I believe in fairies and pixies and unicorns and gremlins. I believe in demons and I believe in myself. I don't believe in any of those things, but you know. Anyways, uh, what we actually have to do is go down here and up through here. Uh, get some refills off of these pots like that. That fairy is nice. And make our way to the boss door. Should probably get out my sword for this. There we go. I'm glad it didn't shock me. Shocking development. Alright, and the boss is relatively easy as well. I'm gonna get out my long hook right now. Alright. Boss door. Okay. Uh, this is... Uh, this is some kind of jelly guy. Whatever. I don't know. What he's gonna do is shoot a uh, homing miss uh, fireball thingy at you, and ouch! But what you have to do is switch places with him, and uh, and you make sure the fireball hits him. He has to be taken out by his own his own magicalness. Oh, and make sure he fires his attack before you actually do anything. You know, I want to do this this battle in the middle of the, the arena. So come over here, buddy. <laughs> Alright. Now a little bit over this way. Yes, there you are, my friend. See, now you're cooperating with me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I did not know he could, he could freaking do that. Ow, 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 ow. Ooh, that hurts. Ouch. Ooh, man. He's doing a lot more damage than I thought he would. But I think that means he's on his last legs. Come on. Throw, throw one of your attacks at me. Come on, come on. There we go. And another hit down. Oh, I did not know he did that. Aye. 
Oh, and my screen just went kind of dark. Joy. There he, there we go. <laughs> Did the entire dungeon in 20 minutes. Heart container. Alright, so... And here we go. You got the rolling sea, an essence of time. The mystical song of the sea roars into a crashing wave that sweeps heroes out into adventure. Alright, that is the seventh essence of time down. Only one more to go, and we can fight Varen. That will be good. What? What? Oh no! <laughs> Since you seem so relaxed, I have come news with the Black Tower has already reached the heavens. What? I still don't know how this works in the context of time, but what? Oh, oh, oh. oh you man with a blue cane and a red cape, or cloak, or whatever it is. I, I actually think, I actually think Black Tower looks really cool. That, I'm sorry, but I know it's evil, but it's cool looking. I'm sorry, I am destined to be a villain, or at least voice act one. <laughs> the Black Tower is finally complete! Powers of Darkness, come to me! Oh my word! That is bad. Ha! Ah, the Powers of Darkness flow through me! The powers swell! Even without the powers of young Meru, I can stop time! Now true darkness comes! The sorrow of people shall be delivered to me! Lightning! My flame of sorrow! Ha 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 ha! All right. Uh, the thing she says there acts kind of act. The thing that she said there answers a question I brought up earlier. Why did she? Why did she uh, need Nehru in the first place, and not just going to the queen? Well, because Nehru is is the oracle she was using for powers. But now I guess since the tower is complete, she was able to summon enough power to to um, wreck time without Nehru. I'm sure it would have been easier with Nehru, but doable with Ambi. And still, she's got, she's got uh, power in the sense she's got political power now. Uh, Nehru just had spiritual power, I suppose you could call it. Mm, that's a little explanation for you, anyways. Now she's messing with the past, and that is that's not good. Oh no, that kid's dad is is stone. Oh, I feel so sorry for that kid. And rabbits, they're hopping, but. What's this? They're turning to stone! All oh, those poor, poor rabbits. I was gonna have them for lunch. None can stop Varen now. You can only wait for the flame of sorrow to light. What if you, all humanity, can feel the sorrow? <laughs> I wish I didn't have to do the female voice, because it just doesn't sound evil. I, I wish I could just do a normal voice. The flame of my sorrow. Mwahaha. <laughs> Some people like that. Saving Nehru. Saving Nehru isn't enough. Varen's deeds have changed the world, Link. I cannot hear the last essence at all. But it must be somewhere in Labrina. I'm relying on you, Link. Alright, this is me, Thrasho2, saying be cool, save often, and don't do anything I wouldn't. 